good afternoon. It is Monday, June 7th. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. And welcome to my Facebook Live. This is episode number 33. This is Pat Mayer from Akron, Ohio. And this is, this is, uh, I can't believe it's number 33 and I can't believe it's June. So anyway, welcome. And you're seeing my face today. I'm not sure that's gonna stay up there very long. And it's not that I don't like to show my face, it's that my background is, hi Linda, welcome. It's that my background is not um, not exactly pristine in my, uh, my studio, my cave, whatever you wanna call it. So anyway, um, let me know you're here, uh, Linda's here. And I'm going to get started because I have some cute things to show you today. But what I realized is that when my face is up there in the corner, I can't really zoom in on what I'm showing. At least I've not figured out how to do that yet. So I may take my face away. We'll see. And um, go from there. So anyway, I'm going to show you today a really pretty card made with this paper that is going to be gone at the end of June. Um, this is the Hydrangea Hill Designer Series paper, and it coordinates with the Hydrangea Haven stamp set. And yes, the stamp set did carry over to the new catalog. Hi, Nancy, I know you've been telling me you need to see my face. Okay, I can zoom in. Okay, I'll figure it out. I'm not gonna worry about it now. Um, where is hydrangea? I thought I had. Okay, it is in the annual catalog, but I wanna show you where it is in the mini catalog. Um, it's on pages 18 and 19, actually carries over to page 20. Hey Fran, welcome. And it is a beautiful suite of products. The stamp set did carry over into the new catalog. The paper did not, and that's what I want to focus on today, because it's going to be gone at the end of June. And I do have not only to feature the paper, but also to feature and show you a cute little fun fold card too. So, um, but here's the stamp set in full view, um, and it can use the mini, the Stampin' Emboss mini die die cut machine so check that out let me see where that is in the annual catalog I didn't look there um, it's on page 109 okay so there it is you see it in a smaller smaller view the artwork is shown at 50% you get to see only partial a portion of it but there's no paper to go with it um, the hydrangea haven bundle is still available for 10 percent off so um, yes it carried over but the lovely paper did not all right let's move along um, and I did check the paper is not on sale so it's still the full amount at 50 percent or excuse me, it's not 50%, it's $11.50. So let me show you a couple of the pages. And I did feature this paper and some cards, which I'll show you um, later. And this is all I have left of it, just kind of some pieces, parts. Um, I did feature this set in, oh, so a few months ago, I think episode 18 or something. So you can go back and look at that. Um, I did check it this morning. But anyway, first card I want to show you uses this paper. And you might look at this and say, hmm, what am I going to do with that? It's pretty on this side. This happens to be Rococo Rose, which is not available anymore. That was a, an in color that retired. And then this side. This is what you want to do with that. Um, okay, some of that fell on the floor. Okay, your best use of this is to 
cut it in half right down the center of this. I mean, this is almost suitable for framing. Wouldn't that be pretty in a long frame up on the wall? Um, and then you can cut it into fourths, which means you would need to layer it. I'm going to cut it at the four and a quarter for the card that I want to do. Oops. So let's take off that other little half inch. Because I want this to cover the full base of my card. So typically you would probably want to cut it at six in the center and then four, four, and four, and then you could layer behind it. But I'm just going to leave it like this. So I cut off that small piece of paper that can go on the inside. And this is the card that I'm going to show you. And so it covers a full base, full base of basic white. So let's put that together and then show you how I've done that tag at the top. So let's score this. I've got this four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half. And this is going to go on the front, but before I do that, I want to show you the tags that I've made here and where I got those. This is a die set, as I reach across here, that I think probably is a sleeper. And unless you have young children that you're thinking about making things for who love hippopotamus, you're probably going to overlook this. Hippo and Friends. It is a stamp set that did carry over, so it is available in the catalog. And... These dies alone, there are four, seven, ten, ten dies alone that make this stamp or this die set worth the $36. Okay? Um, they're just awesome. And I'm, I don't know, I just can't say enough about them. This is what's left the little hippopotamus things. And um, I'll look to see what page he's on. And these two little things right here are incredible. And then I think these two little things are for small ribbons. You've got a butterfly, a little bow for the hippo, and this is a little sheep. So it's hippo and friends. And this is the little, um, oh, the unicorn. Yeah, there we've got a unicorn. That's his little, his little, whatever that's called, okay. So anyway, it's a $36 die set. It's awesome. So let me show you what I've done to put this card together. I took those two little things that I showed you that you would need, these, Linda, you've got littles that you would want, your little girls would love those little hippo and friends. So this little die, and there's another one on the other side, goes through there to create a ribbon slide. So that's what I'm going to do. And that's where this came from, to make this little ribbon slide. And it's perfect. And it fits perfect with this brand new ribbon this is brand new in the new catalog, and this is Highland Heather 
grow grain ribbon and it is it's got some metallic in it and I'm not sure it doesn't say here at least I'm not seeing it with my crazy eyes how wide it is but it's just perfect for that little ribbon slide um, it's half inch I should have been able to figure that out um, so this is half inch ribbon so let's get this card together very quickly um, I'm also going to use a new stamp set from the new catalog called Sunny Sentiments. I love this and thought you could use some sunny thoughts today. And the sun is not shining here because we just had a pretty nasty thunderstorm move through and the ditch in front of my house is full of water. But I'm going to show, uh, use a happy hello to you. And let me get a piece of paper here to stamp on and I'm going to use gorgeous grape you can always use a happy hello and let's see if I can do this without getting ink on it which I got ink on the stamp so let's do that that's a pretty juicy stamp um, there's happy hello yay I did it that's going to go on this piece of Highland Heather but before I do that I'm going to put this ribbon through here So is everybody having a good, did everybody have a good weekend? Let's see, I think I did that right. One's, yeah, they go over it like that. And that's going to go on this. I think I cut about seven inches of ribbon. So what I'm going to do is I think my seal is about empty, so I'm going to use some snail adhesive that I have left over. And add this to that, too. And these just nest, these dies that are the labels or tags or whatever. Um, they just nest so nicely. So there we've got that. And get that straight. Flip it over and add some adhesive to the back. And Add this to the card base and it's basically done and if you notice on my sample the little butterfly die that is in hippo and friends I put on here I didn't cut out an extra one to put on this card but um, so there there are a lot of dies in that die set whether you get the stamp set or not that are perfect for creating cards without the hippo and the unicorn and the um, the little sheep. Let's take this extra piece of paper or yeah, extra piece of cardstock. Let's see. Let's put the Rococo rose on that side. Pop that on the bottom so nothing goes to waste. All right, okay, and then let's see, I've got um, let's 
some pastel pearls. Those are just beautiful. These are also a carryover into the new catalog. So we love the purples. And let's put a blue one down here. And then I want to show you this. This is one of our spritzers. So Linda, you just got these spritzers, right? And I have put about five or six drops into alcohol in this spritzer um, of Wink of Stella. And I just took my Wink of Stella, opened it up, and squeeze that in there. We don't have the shimmer paint anymore, so you can squeeze that in there. Um, I don't want to do it right now because I've got enough in here. But um, that's the way we, the little workaround to get shimmer. So I'm going to add this to my card, kind of off camera so you can't see it away from me so I don't spray my face. And there's just enough in there when it dries, you get a really nice shimmer. And that's the way around not having the shimmer paint. So there's that. And let's see, we've got a piece of designer paper to go on the envelope. So let's add some adhesive to this with liquid glue. This is the one that's working. Yes, there we go. So this is just gorgeous paper. Just gorgeous. Oops. I didn't know that little, little leaf was in there. Snip that off. So this paper just is so easy to create beautiful cards that are quick and simple. And there we go. So. There's our first card. And then this was the one that I did yesterday and I added the butterfly to it. So think about that for a future purchase. It'll be around for a while. Now I have a cute fun fold card to show you. And um, my group gets together, uh, we get together uh, via Zoom once a month, and we typically have one of the team members showing something, whether it is a, a fun fold or a sketch. And last month, one of my ladies um, did a cute fun fold that looks like this. Okay. Hi, Gloria. Join. I'm glad you're joining. You said you had an appointment, so you got here in time. Um, so this is the card. It's a double point fold card. Very easy to make. And I have most of the pieces put together. The one that I'm going to show today is just a little bit different for closing it. So to make this, you need a piece of cardstock as a base that is five and a half by four and a quarter. And you need another piece that is four by five and a quarter. And then you need two pieces, and I'm going to show you how to do this. 
two pieces of four, and this is the way I cut this, so this, this, this is four, four by three, need two of those, And then, I'll keep this one in here, slide it over to the one inch, and you want to put a one inch score. So it's four by three, and on the three inch side, score it at one inch. So I'll do that on the other one. You just don't want to get your score blade mixed up with your cutting blade. Score is light gray, cut is dark, dark gray. Okay, so I want to fold that and burnish it. Now, if your paper has a design that goes in one direction or the other, you want to make sure that that matches up because one of these is going to go at the bottom and one will go at the top when I put the fold in it. Okay, so I'm going to, I want the, the um, Highland Heather part to be out here. And you're going to fold that over, kind of put your finger there where your score line is, fold it over And get the bone folder back here. Fold it over so that you can see how I'm starting to score or get the points. So it meets up where you put that one inch score line. Okay, so there's one. And here's another. So it's very easy to do, and it's pretty cool when you send it off in the mail. All right, so I already have two made because they're already adhered. You want to adhere your uh, flaps down. So one's going to go here. And the other one is going to go at the bottom so that they'll match. It's very easy to do. So again, it's three by four, score it one inch on the three inch side and make your points. And then adhere this down. Now I wanna add adhesive back here. Pretty strong adhesive, but I think the snail, the, uh, the snail will work on this add adhesive to both of those and just lay that down whoops if anything if it's not exact I can trim that off okay so there's that one this one's going to go up here and just slip it under. So voila, there we go. So easy to do. Then that goes on your card base. So I guess when you look at this, you think that there's probably not a whole lot of room to write because we're going to put one of those tags over it from the Hippo and Friends. You could always write on the back of your card, um, or I suppose you could make this a full card base if you had a lot to write, but I think it's just dramatic enough without that. So anyway, that's that. And then I've already pre-cut This is going to go on here, so I pre-cut that from the dies. 
and these are just these just fit perfectly the um the lady that i saw this from is um has a very a lot of good ideas lynn dunn and that is where i got the idea um i'm not sure where she got it from i think from somebody else so that's what we do we share ideas and they just go around but these hippo and friend dies just work perfectly with this i think another nested die set that got retired is what she had originally used so let's put this together i can put this on the card base go and I've got a little bit of stamping here um, the paper where's the paper here um, one of the designs of paper has these beautiful little bunches of hydrangeas and that's what I'm going to use and that's what I used on the sample here just cut that out and then the sentiments in this stamp set in the hydrangea are just gorgeous but I'm going to do something a little bit different than I did on this one so let me finish fussy cutting this out and who loves to fussy cut either love it or hate it um, but just a little tip if you don't like it a whole lot move your paper not your scissors just move the paper around and just kind of let it flow I started this one so I just have a little bit more I didn't want to bore you with fussy cutting the whole thing um, and I do leave a little white frame edge around it but if you have a lot of things to fussy cut um, that's something you can do kind of you know in front of the TV at night doesn't really take very long and our paper snips are just make it perfect um, they're the right size for fine detail cutting thanks Nancy I I think it's just it's a perfect little card and I'm so glad that the hydrangea paper is still available so there we go with that Yes, Team Purple. You love purple. I know you love purple. Okay, so that's going to go on here. Let's add some adhesive to this. Now, there is a front and a back to these dies. There's a tiny little um, edge around that, so you can tell whether it is... Um, the front or the back. I suppose it doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but it kind of it does. Okay, that's going to go here. And I'm just going to use um, dimensionals to add that to the card. Instead of putting a sentiment on there, which I would have stamped first before adding that, um, I'm going to do something a little bit different to get a, give it a different closure than what I did on the sample. So I only want to add adhesive to the top part of this. Okay, 
How are you all liking this heat we're having? Let's see, I think I'm gonna move that up just a tad more. Um, I'm so thankful for air conditioning. My air conditioning just kicked on. And I don't know if the temperature went down after the storm went through, but it is so sticky and humid. Okay. Now with this one, as I said, it, it doesn't have any closure on it. So things just pop up. So with our double oval punch, I know, can you see that in the without the glare there. You can punch out, and this is just perfect. The sentiments in the hydrangea stamp set are so delicate and fine. They're just perfect for this size. Um, so I chose, I appreciate all the little things you do. They're very tiny, but just perfect. And this is photopolymer. So I'm gonna stamp that on. Let's see, make sure we're going the right way here. Stamp this also with Gorgeous Grape. Perfect. And add that to the where did it go? There we go. Add that to the other oval, the scalloped oval. This punch was sold out for such a long time. And now it's back. So now maybe you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this down at the bottom and only adhere it down here so that this will slip underneath and create a little catch for it. So I want to only add adhesive down at the bottom. Okay, come on, snail. And There we go. So that this will, oop, I hope I didn't put too much on there. There. So that this will flip out and go underneath like that. Now, instead of spraying this one, let's just add some Wink of Stella to the flowers. that in the glare of the lights and also add some pastel pearls let's do a dark purple up here one here and then pink one down at the bottom. There we go. Now on, on this card that I did as my sample, I made, I had a little boo-boo here with the ink and I thought I'm not throwing that away. So I stamped with one of the little flowers and that's why that's there. It really doesn't fit, but that's, the, that's where it's gonna stay. So these are the two cards for today. Lots of purple, lots of loving purple, and I hope you enjoyed those. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Happy birthday, belated. Um, these are the cards that I did back, I think it was episode 18, I'm not sure. I, I did look this morning, but I didn't, I don't remember, that I used when I was showcasing this product in the January to June mini. And again, the paper is just awesome. And look how the stamps are inside where you can use. And this is one of the stamps in the set, that shadow stamp. There, a little bit of paper here. Um, so 
So these are just kind of little reminders of what I did back then. Here's another one, Thinking of You. And then I've got three of these that don't have any sentiments on them. And this is a, just a piece of um, crumb cake and it's a little bit different fold. This is basic white that is eight inches by four inches, scored at four, and just put that on the front of the card. So it's a little bit different designer paper, and then you can add whatever sentiment that you like. So just a different fold, and I've got three of those to add some sentiments on, so I need to get those in the mail. So that's it for today. Um, I should be able to see you next week. I'm going out of town next Tuesday um, for a week. So I should be able to, oh, like that crumb cake full. Thanks. Thanks, Nancy. Um, and then I'm hoping for the week after, uh, if I can figure out how to record something and have it go live when I'm gone. So I've got some technological things to work out in the next week or so. Um, so I think I can get that figured out. So I'll be in Texas after next Monday. So I will see you all soon. Thanks for joining in today and hope you learned a little bit. Have a good rest of the day, good evening, and a good rest of the week. Bye-bye. Thanks so much.